Hello YouTube, my name is Your Dragon Wan and welcome to my first ever Let's Play video on this YouTube channel. You're probably asking why am I wearing this outfit and who I am? Well, the, the answer is simple. I'm actually a TikToker who does Cameon cosplays like this one right here of my... This is a Cameon cosplay of Malsy Little Dragon, which you also see in the back. I, I'm also an artist, which is why I do see all these artworks that I hang up on on the wall over there. Yeah. <laughs> and I also make Minecraft skins, which you probably will see in other Minecraft Let's Plays I'm going to make on this channel. But yeah, I decided lately I also want to make YouTube videos, why not? I love to play games, and I also want to, sh to share my gameplay with other people, and see if I can also make them laugh by how much I rage. In the games, cause Switch gamer didn't rage when he played so any sort of video games. I mean, come on, do not tell me no, that never happened. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm very excited to to do this to do videos on YouTube. I actually did before, but I decided to start over, start fresh, start new. But yeah, if you, so, uh. Basically, what I'm going to be playing today is a brand new game I heard on uh, a, a day or like a few days ago. Its name is Aperture Desk Job, and I'm a huge fan of Portal 2 and all the Portal games. I love them. Yeah, I literally, I I play Portal 2 a lot because I love puzzle games and I I love basically the lore. It so. Why not play it as well? Because this is a portal game. I it, I must play it. It must be played. But yeah, without further ado, let the shenanigans begin. Okay, let me just log in. Oh, also, a uh, desk job is going to be played with this controller right here. There we go. <laughs> But yeah, this is on and I'm ready to play. Let go! Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. Cave Johnson. I'm Cave Johnson. And if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. Look at all those tubes. Stretching off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world forever. A oh genius God. just like you. Only tubes. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. History oh. will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us I mean all of us, all of humanity, down. Oh boy, oh boy. So congratulations. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein, Wait a minute. That's, now you. That's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck! World's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work, or you're fired. Dad, they don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, uh, you are a product inspector. That is your inspection desk. Ooh, there in front of you, you will be inspecting, uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, just remember, the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't, it's, it's real bad here. It's fine. You'll probably be fine. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me do it. What are we? Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait. I need to get the right mood. Hold on. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm infecting a toilet. Are you freaking kidding me? I am supposed to be a foreign inspector, and I'm inspecting this. I thought I'm going to be inspecting a turret, a companion to, but no, a toilet. Thank you, Ray. I'll remember this. Uh, so, uh, do I just... Okay, now... Then I press B. Then A. That, that is it. That, that is it. That is it? Then what did I sign up for, Brady? You explain to me. What, what did I sign up for? I did not sign up to test toilets. He's putting me as product inspector making inspect toilets. The nerve. I'll, I'll go to human resources. Though. You'll see, I'm gonna go to human resources and report on this nonsense. Oh, okay, uh, why? We boring. Uh, yet another toilet. Ain't that terrific? Something, another something, another board something. Damn it! I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect a toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You really? heard the important hey, Johnson, part. Really? Wait, wait. Hold on. Have they all been oh, smoking? Oh my god. You know what? It's not our job to I test if the toilet's on fire, fire, right? I Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's this somebody else's problem. To be on fire. Um, you think your job's bad? I mean, your job is bad. Thanks for pointing that out, Grady. It's just, I mean, it's the worst job at the company. Way worse than mine. I, I shouldn't have made it sound like we were competing. Bruh. But my job's pretty bad too. My job is, I have to fire you if you don't do your job. That's a lot of stress. Do you hear that? Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. Yeah, keep testing it. I think there's a jam in here. Hey, could you test it again? Oh. Can you get me out of here, please? Thank you. Uh, I don't like that. Can you get me out of here, please? What you get for making me back to mm -hmm. uh, What? Are you pressing something? Try pressing something. Let me. Billy, I. Nope. Hey. I'm just wet now. How is the toilet water feels? Ah, uh, crazy. No, 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 no. That's just pushing me deeper in. Are you, what is your plan? Is your plan just push me out? <laughs> okay, okay, look, I get it. It is funny, it's hilarious. It's but it's also, please fun. stop, please stop, 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 please, please, please no. stop. I'm gonna be, just stop it. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna be real sick. I don't care. Stop I'm gonna be, just stop it. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna be real sick. Nope! You made me do this. Now you suffer. Nope. Alright, yeah. That's not working. <laughs> it's working! Keep doing that! I'm
Just test it. Get it out of here. Ah. Uh... Flush it. Get it down the line. Uh, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Ready? I don't think this is a good idea. I'm not with it. Flush it. Get it down the line. So, first off, I I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, now, I also think we're going to be rich because I think you just admitted something. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm going to go work on this well, in well, secret. Finally. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like it's got to look good. I mean, just pretend the most you've ever... You know what? Just go back to work, actually. Yeah, that works. I'll be back. Thanks a lot, Brady, for leaving me alone. Ah. First off, you did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. I'm not pressing the button. You may, you're upset. At, I'm not doing much thing. Nope. Not gonna happen. Press. You gotta press the button. Presenting. Press the. Yep. Yeah, button. Nope. Presenting. Presenting. Nope. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button, press the button. You're not pressing the button. I don't want to press the button. Yeah, you're not pressing the button. Press the button. Fox. Presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. Uh. The controls are right there on your desk. I mean, right, yeah. And I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. Oh. Left trigger to open the wings. Right stick to aim, and right trigger to shoot. Give it a shot. What? Wait, I It's the buttons that just opened up on the desk. Seriously, this is the best part. If that's a turret, then... Shooting! You know what, though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that, so let me just turn it around. All right, shoot again. Don't worry, it's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. Oh, you I almost died. Kill. Fine. I just destroyed this whole place. Go on, shoot. Now go die this time. I promise. Oh, this just is out of now. Wow! Holy moly, man! That is great! Huh. Oh, man, the turret broke. That was the only one, too. <laughs> but don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. Ta-da! Introducing the Mark II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. Are you Okay, good. Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. Okay, normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Whoa, whoa, are you giving me all this Okay, go crazy. All those controls do something. Three. Oh, also, some of the crates. Wow, right? Oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part fell off. Keep going. All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Uh. Okay, quite a bit is falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced that. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar. Yep, here we are. Oh god. Alright, that's 
so some yeah. of the stuff I put on there just didn't work. Most of it, like 90%, or even higher maybe. But some of it worked great. So all we have to do is keep the great stuff, and then we, then we can. So okay, that's the police. So one of us needs to streamline this turret, right? And one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. Don't you because they're, this is a lot of damage and they're gonna look into this. Which job, which job do you want? How about I fix a turret and then you take, yeah, I'll do that no. part. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me, okay? Do don't say anything. Jail. Hey! Well, I mean, wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I mean, months. it was way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, Offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Lior, Dragon, and Orion. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as Lior, Dragon, and Orion. Ah. <laughs> Moving on. Like okay. Now, type your name. Uh, okay. Lior, Dragon. Type your name. Shut up. I'm typing. Right. Moving on. Now, sign your name. Uh, sign your name. Okay, I right, just use this. Okay, just gonna do my regular signature. <laughs> I messed it up, but whatever. As a condition of supervised oh. early release, parolee and desk agree to report within hey, 15 days. What? Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I manage like seven guys on parole right now, but they're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both Me? free to go. Okay, let's clear oh, the uh, bring your desk. <laughs> I can get upset. <laughs> ah. Oh. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Introducing the Mark Three. Really? Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Here, try it on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in a locked room. It's just like the Mark I. Left trigger open. I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have to. Because then we'd be tattoo books. Anybody would look at us and know we are friends. I think you give me the same tattoo. Would that be weird? Who would be weird in the same exact form? Alright, I'll, I'll think of that. 
got like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head that's holding a wrench. So you've got the dragon and the knife. And mine's similar, but more a robot thing. Man, that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. Oh, oh, I like that. How much did the tattoo hurt when you gave it to yourself? Did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with a lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand hanging out holding a wrench, what if it was like a skeleton? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? Skeleton arm tattoo. I decided. That's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we can eat up that light. Alright, everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last, but while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's gonna make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's go. What are you gonna do with your share of the money? Kill you. I know what I'm gonna do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Like immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the big, I'll have to pay that too. Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. That's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. What is that? Ready? What is that? Huh. That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple spares. I knew it! It's the housewares department! I now found a turret! I can't believe it! They stole our idea, and now they're gonna kill us with it! Housewares, man. They're never gonna stop ambushing us. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. I know they're coming, but I don't think they're going to stop coming, though. We need to think of something else. I really think they're going to keep coming for, like, basically forever. Man, can you believe it? These guys are such pieces of... What did we ever even do to them? Nice work. I got the elevator working again, but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not gonna survive 80 ambushes in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. 
They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, automatic death launch will engage. Here we go. We are going to launch. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Monster panel set to flight configuration. Three, two, one. We have liftoff. Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. Yet. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay, let's go show this thing to Cave. Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. This is what's happening. But it turns out, I didn't know this, it turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> I think he might be a millionaire recluse now. So, be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. Hello, Mr. Johnson? He's dead. Uh, Let's just go in. I can't go in. Mr. Johnson? Are you here? Is that giant fit? Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. What? The actual... No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Hey, hey, hey! I can't talk over the sound of you shooting me. Do you want me to tell you why I'm a giant head or not? Right, where was I? Giant head, riddled with disease. Ah! Now I remember. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile, no. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body and, hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head somewhere, all crushed. Fine, fine, fine. I'm trapped in a head. I'm sad. You're fired. The end. If you're not going to help, get out of my office. Wait, what is that thing? It's something the two of us invented, sir. We came up here to show you. I think it might be the answer to your problem. Huh. Wait, Fine, no. you're provisionally unfired. Let's see it. Show him, partner. It. Oh, that didn't work. I'll be honest, I thought you were two lunatics who dragged a toilet up here. But you are geniuses. He called us geniuses. No. What? You are made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Oh. Is it working? In the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it's working, but you're the eggheads. I don't think it's working, but keep shooting. Let's make it in there. Hey, you see that? I think that's his power source. Oh, okay. Uh, eh, eh. Oh, do it? here we go. Powering down. Oh. The great beyond. Be Boy, I'll, I'll right. give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. Eh. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three. Johnson. Backup power activated. 
Never mind. Ugh. You're both fired. What? what? I'm gonna need your key cards. What? Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see them. I love my worker card. Uh oh. You know what? It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yep. Yeah. I killed Cave Johnson. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not going to like this. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. We should. Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything. Yeah. And bring the desk. What's that? What's that? What's that? Morning, Charlie. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. You know. Come to think of it, you'd think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. It feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. Chapters. What do you know? But 
yeah. Uh, that is it. We finished the game. That was interesting. <laughs> I got arrested in Portal. I mean, how did they even have a prison inside of? Okay, actually, why question that? This is a big place. But seriously, a prison. And why did they make inspect toilets? Out of everything, they chose toilets. <laughs> yep, I'm going to human resources. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to end here. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching my first ever Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoy it. And, uh, if you guys really enjoyed my, my content, let me then leave a like down below and also leave a comment. And if you want to if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you can stay updated with my content. I'll try to at least make videos like what every uh once a week, and if I can. But I also stream on Twitch, so if you go to my to my bio in the channel, you can also go to my other links, my TikTok, Instagram, my Tumblr, where I post my art, and yeah, you can just check me out there. But anyway, I thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.